Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I'm going to be looking at some uh, small mini tripods um, that you can use for different cameras. Uh, so I've got starting with like the cheapest uh, tripod here, moving up to other budget options such as the Olanzi, um, and then sort of up to like really like probably the daddy of uh, handheld tripods, which is the Gorilla Pod uh, made by JB 3K kit. This is my original Manfrotto MT Pic Pixie 8. It's a mini tripod made by Manfrotto. Uh, really well built um, and actually considerably cheap for you know for the quality of, and the feel of it. Uh, this actually sent me about $14.99 uh, and I purchased this uh, on Amazon. I'll pop a link in the description below. Uh, this is actually made from techno polymer and aluminium. It uses a friction so this sort of logo here is also a button. Uh, you press this and that actually is a friction, uh, friction sort of controlled ball mount uh, there. The, the legs can just fold out, independently fold out, and uh, they can be placed onto a surface, just like that. And you know, even if the surface is obviously like uneven like that, just use the friction, friction controlled ball mount just press it in and, and level up your shot. Great. I mean, I I personally love I personally love this uh, this particular tripod. I think it's really well built. Manfrotto is obviously a really um, good brand as well. So I think you know for fifteen pounds or fourteen ninety nine, that really is a bargain. Get yourself one if you don't have one. Anyway, it's so mounting mounting cameras on them on it on this particular tripod. No problem at all. Obviously, just uh, this is the ZV1, Sony ZV1. Looks great. Looks really well so, uh, on this particular camera. It's sort of offset. It's not bang in the middle, but like I say, press the button in, press the button in, and swivel it however you want. And then again, you know, these sort of flip-out screens, great for you know, vlogging with. All right. So given that this, this tripod is so solid and, and very, very well built, you know, you can even uh, attach a, like a larger DSLR. So this is the Canon 2000D. Um, and, you know, the, the friction ball mount is, you know, is actually really strong. Like, I don't have any, any problems at all with that sort of trying to slide off or, or, you know, reposition itself under the weight of the camera. You know, it's no problem at all there. So... Again, you can definitely use the larger style DSLRs with this particular tripod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my next one, which is the Alanzi uh, MT-08. Uh, this is advertised on Amazon uh, as a uh, extension pole and selfie stick for the iPhone, smartphones, and compact cameras. Uh, this is actually more expensive than the Manfrotto. This cost me £16.95 on Amazon. And to be quite honest with you, I'm not really expecting a lot. You know, it, it looks, certainly looks cheaper than the Manfrotto. And I've, personally, I've never heard of this brand. But let's take a, let's open it up and take a look and see what we get inside. Okay. Okay, so a... The selfie stick, nothing else inside the box. So this is all we're actually getting with this particular product. Um, funnily enough, I can't actually find this on, on, on Amazon anymore. So I've gone into my order history. I purchased this a, about a month ago. Haven't had a chance to review it yet, just I've been working away. Um, so they don't seem to be available on, on Amazon anymore. So maybe just search uh, eBay. Maybe they've come off Amazon, I'm not, I'm not sure. But anyway. So instantly out of the box, you know, instantly out of the box, this particular uh, mini tripod definitely feels a lot cheaper. Um, nowhere near as well made as, as the, the Manfrotto mini one. This, this plastic here, very, very flimsy. Um, really, already not a fan of this at all. Uh, so we've got, Wow, I actually thought that this extended. I actually thought that this did sort of 
shoot out of the top, but clearly not. The, there's, there is a ball mount on it. Uh, the ball mount does, uh, is actually, you control it with this thumb screw here. Um, wow, this feels so cheap. I'm pretty sure I'm not missing a trick here, so that certainly doesn't feel like it's coming out. I just don't really understand what this is for. I would have thought that would be a very small extension of But wow, you know, compared to the Manfrotto, you know, compared to this, you know, this is, like I say, $14.99. This is $16.95 this cost me. By far, this is, this Manfrotto feels so much better than this. I seriously, if you, if you, if you were going to choose, you know, one over the other, this one, like definitely, I mean, size wise also, like the Manfrotto is so much larger, you also get that more, that, that, that longer range with it than that. I mean, who, who also wants to, he wants to mess around with a side with a side screw, um, with a thumb screw, when you can just press the friction thing, move it around. Then you know it just doesn't make sense to me. Anyway, let's uh, let's now try and put a camera onto the Alanzi. The Alanzi. So again, just the camera round. That's the ZV1 on it. Probably the only thing that the Alanzi does, which the, uh, the Manfrotto one doesn't, is it allows you to go at a right angle. You know, it's got this, this notch just there where you could go into a right angle, a 90 degree angle. Um, let's see, tighten that down with a thumb screw and give you that 90 degree. But you know, with no extension here, I just, what's the point? And then going back to the Manfrotto, because it is literally just that, you know, the largest sort of size you're gonna get by pressing it in here. You know, that's the biggest, largest angle, which obviously clearly isn't 90 degrees. Um, yeah. So anyway, I'm really disappointed with this. I can't believe that the, the, the better branded Manfrotto, like much better quality tripod, costs less than, than this than this one so anyway just quickly whip that off and we'll try the Canon EOS 2000D mm -hmm. okay so it's the 2000D on the Alanzi tripod mini tripod and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to test this out because this is a bit heavier than the Sony ZV-1. Again, you know, to be honest with you, the the actual uh, the ball joint up here and the ball mount is not having any issues. The weight of the camera isn't actually uh, making the camera want to drop down on the ball. So, to be honest with you, functionality-wise, other than build quality, you know, it does do the trick. You know, this this camera is quite a heavy camera, and it's not actually moving around the ball joint. But like I say, in my personal opinion. Now I've had hands on with this particular mini tripod, I would without a doubt go, you know, reach for the Manfrotto over the Alanzi. Okay, so finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the uh, JV Gorilla Pod 3K. So, this particular um, handheld tripod is one that I've been meaning to get for a long time. So, I've actually been doing my, my, my photography hobby uh, for about three or four years now, uh, and you know, having seen a lot of other YouTubers. They use the Gorilla Pod. Uh, you know, you can get that really good sort of extended length on on the arm, and you know, this can be used in all kinds of places, such as trees and, and branches and things. So anyway, let's let's open up the uh, the Joby Gorilla Pod 3K kit and let's see what we've got in the back of the box. So, let's take a look. Okay, so we've got, seems to be some sort of instruction manual. Uh, 
tells us how to attach attach it to the the camera and look inside the box we've got this packaging thing there now the difference between the kit version of this and the standard version so as you can see this is the, the 3k kit the difference being that the kit version I'm just going to get rid of this packaging quickly so the kit version has the um, this additional sort of Arca Swiss, I guess, Arca Swiss style um, plate. Uh, and with that, you also get the spirit level. So you can see, you know, if your camera's level on, wow, this feels wicked. This feels really good. Like I've, I've seen these and uh, I've seen them around and I've really wanted one for a long time. Um, but this, this feels wicked. This, this is really solid. So, just having a quick look, I've never used one of these before, obviously. But having a quick hands-on look at this. Got the same feature here as the Alanzi, Ulanzi, sorry. Where we can make it go to a 90 degree angle. Uh, and again, like the Ulanzi, we've got the uh, thumb screw to um, tighten and apply friction to the ball so it, the camera stays in place. On the tripod. So, I guess there's one more thing really for us to do here. So, discuss the build quality, which is fantastic. Um, very, very nice build quality, if I say so myself. And so, the other thing is, we're just going to loosen this off, pop this back up there, and we'll try it with the cameras. So, you get a good size comparison and how it sits on the camera and everything. So, so you see one. Okay. Right, so as you can see, like with the size of that you're getting so much, you know, more depth and uh, further away from your face compared to like the Manfrotto where you'd be holding it for comparison like there. So this feels really cool. Like very very solid even though you know it's flexible flexible ball joints here. So you can wrap it around like I say branches and trees. The cameras that I'll be using on the, on this particular tripod when I'm out and about vlogging and stuff uh, it's gonna be smaller cameras. You know I, I don't I don't I definitely won't be using my EOS R on it probably. You know, I bought the ZV-1, as I've said in my other videos, uh, for really out and about 4K video shooting. Um, it's a really cost-effective camera. <laughs> this video is not about the ZV-1, but you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna use this, I'm definitely gonna use this, this Gorilla Pod for, um, for vlogging out in the field because it does give me that extra range, especially in my other video where I talk about the, the wide angle lens for the ZV-1. The issue that I've personally felt with that wide angle lens is it just adds so much weight to the front of that electronic um, lens zoom that I just don't want to risk, you know, the weight pulling it down and affecting the motor over time. So yeah, I, I really like this. This 3K Gorilla Pod is um, really awesome actually. Okay guys, so that's all for this video. Um, I hope this was useful, especially if you're looking into getting a handheld uh, mini tripod. Um, like I said, to sort of summarise what my personal opinions are, I personally feel that if you're in the uh, if you're in the market for a sort of a small, portable, compact but good and well built quality tripod, I personally would recommend the Manfrotto. Um, you know, for the for the price alone, this being cheaper than the Ilanzi, is definitely in my opinion, an awesome steal, a, a good buy that you can get for your sort of vlogging or, or other, other uses. Um, the Joby Gorilla Pod 3K, although it's more expensive and did cost me £56 on Amazon, links will be below in the description, uh, definitely better for getting you that extended range. If you do have a Sony ZV-1 and you, you, you want to, be to have more sort of background in the frame when you are vlogging, I definitely think the, the Joby 3K, the Gridapod 3K is probably the answer as opposed to, you know, like I saw in my other previous videos, you know, using that sort of wide angle lens adapter just because it is so heavy on that, that sort of that electronic zoom motor on the Sony ZV-1. So, 
If you've got a larger, heavier camera, uh, want more sort of background imaging when I mean, you are vlogging, definitely the, 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 the Joby 3K. Personally, I would pass on the Alanzi, Ulanzi, because it feels it feels very cheap. It's more expensive than the Manfrotto. Uh, it's smaller than the Manfrotto as well when you've got it when you're holding it out like that. You know, like like I said, you know the the range here. You know, you've got at least another good sort of uh, inch, inch and a half, maybe two inches um, when you're using the Manfrotto tripod as opposed to the Ulanzi. To be honest with you, uh, now I've got this, feels so tacky and cheap. Um, I will be using it as maybe to, to mount a microphone, low level microphones or something uh, in the studio. Um, and you know, it's good to have spare stuff. So you know, if something did happen to this, got run over maybe, I mean, it's, this really is so solid. Uh, if it did get run over or something, then you know, I could, I could use this. But anyway, I hope you found this useful. Um, please, if you did, like uh, and subscribe to the channel. I cover loads of content about uh, videography, photography, uh, and other tech-related um, other tech-related subjects. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.